God is a painter, and the sky is his canvas, and stars glow golden like bona fide treasures. God is a poet, and our lives are his stanzas, and when we first met, it was the dopest rhyme ever. There are moments that like measures, that immortalize memories, that are more divine than the most overpriced pleasures. And I focus my efforts to say this perfect because I know it might never get vocalized better. And some of this I've said, I mean, the rest I've been meaning to. I'm trying to say I love you. I'm just taking the scenic route. Now, in case I repeat a few phrases or seemingly stray, it is okay. But believe me when I say that this is a song for you. And yes, I've made some bad ones and I've played them on stages and some fans came. But baby, when this plays, imagine and that it's just me and you and I am singing our anthem. I do not usually do well writing these kind of songs. Most times I skip these drones, I leave them alone, not because I'm cold-hearted and different or lethargic. I just think what I write, to be honest, sounds retarded for someone who's articulate. When it comes to you, I tend to get tight-lipped and I vice grip my words expressing sentiment. So in the words of Jane Austen, I've never been more sure that if I loved you less than yes, I could probably talk about it more. So right on my chest, dear, that is where you can rest your left ear and get prepared to hear my heartbeat. Sweet nothings to you, a dream daring to come true. There'll be a point you'll need something new, old, borrowed, and blue. I want to get old and grow a gut. I suck it when I'm next to you. I want to be 60 odd years old, still trying to impress you. And I've been holding my breath since the moment we met, hoping to get closer in death. But I don't think you know yet that I love you. So let's start there. Strip the art bear. That is my heart there. Let me in part share. How we got here, far from the spark flares, please be all ears. Earth, my place of birth, born to be the lone roamer of the universe. And I was just a human flirt, drew from dirt, delivered from the womb to nurse, dodging Cupid's curse until I saw you in that tunic skirt. Venus de Milo, you are my breathtaking eyeful. We began the cat and mouse chase, the Felix, the Bible, the pursuit paid off. I make my pitch clean and steady, not ready to bite the dust. So please be my queen, Freddie Mercury. The years then passed by hurriedly. Blissful dates, wedding, first home, child, and nursery. Our rocket love became tertiary, urgently, because you were rushed to the hospital, sheer heart attack, surgery, Jupiter. What am I to do if you ain't her? Our daughter needs a mother here to root for her in the nuclear. Family cannot see you go the route of Pluto. I want to love you just the way you are. You know, Bruno Mars. Pseudo stars cannot defeat your presence. You are my Aurora Borealis, who is now better in and under incandescent lights, ventilators, and EKG machines. And visiting hours do not apply to those of us with wedding rings. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, the galaxy, Emery, Crawford, Long, Angioplasty, the lump in my throat, that clump in your artery, and the prospect of going on without you, Bay, is hard for me, and this is my real life. Withering heights, and I'm praying to Christ in the tune of give me the night so that you might greet the sun tomorrow once the curtain's drawn. Because a morning without you here, my dear, is just a dwindled dawn. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.